uh, because it's, you know, it's big business. You ain't going to change that. But what you can change is your world. So consequently, you move into forming your own production company and working on doing your own productions and try to create a nucleus of people around you that are of the caliber of people that, that you hope to be. I'd have more black actresses working. <laughs> And I mean that I'd have me working more often in leading roles on film. <laughs> and I'd have um, less violence in movies. I would like us to have studios that are run by individuals, not by conglomerates, uh, because I believe that individuals do take risks. I'm really a newcomer to it, so I don't know enough about it to, to change it. But maybe, maybe to have more uh, female input. But this is the age of the goddess, isn't it now? So coming up, so maybe it's our turn. The Chicago City Fire Department, where heroes are made every day. It's inherent in what they do. They go in, they knock the door down, they put out the fire, and they save your life. There you go, stand by. Stand. We are rolling. Rolling! Rolling! Action! Universal Pictures and Imagine Entertainment team up to present a Ron Howard film. Backdraft. I had always wanted to do a movie about brothers. And uh, the younger brother, played by Bill Baldwin, is uh, a young potential firefighter who's, who's learning all about it. We have Kurt Russell character, who's the older brother. They have this relationship where it's your classic, stubborn, pig-headed Irish brothers who lock horns. And there's a wall built between them. I mean, they, they, don't, they don't get along. They don't communicate very well. You got a problem with drilling now, Proby? Is that it? No! I don't have a problem with drilling. But let's just have one drill, Lieutenant. Now, one for the company and one for me. I'm not gonna quit, Steven, you hear me? The story unfolds through a series of mysterious fires that firemen describe with a little-known term, backdraft. A backdraft is a situation that occurs when a room is hot and it has burned away all the oxygen and it creates this vacuum and if a firefighter goes along and breaks a window or kicks the door open there's a sudden rush of air and almost instantaneous combustion it's every firefighter's worst nightmare check that door for heat it really is an overall look we have arsonists, we have arson investigators, we have hard-boiled firemen, we have politics that surround the fire department, the city government, and women who are in love with firemen. They show me a fire truck. While on the set, director Howard was assisted by Chicago City Fire Department's chief, Span, and by using a cast and crew that included real firemen, they were able to maintain safety and realism. With that, the cameras were ready to roll. Next month, exclusively on Showtime. Hailed as one of this century's great innovations, the remote allows the viewer to... Hailed as a pretty darn good channel, Showtime presents great entertainment. The average viewer uses this great innovation 85 times a day. Over the next five years, Showtime will present 500 exclusive new movies. Movies like... 
rendering this great innovation obsolete. Five years, 500 new movies, the Showtime 500. It ain't over till it's over. I'll be like one of those dogs you see in the park. You'll have to turn a fire hose on me to get me off you. A Showtime original movie, Red Shoe Diaries, coming in May. The following exclusive movie is brought to you by Showtime. Unedited and commercial free. Showtime's got this month. Exclusive movies you can't see anywhere else. No one here can out alive now. The madness and the beauty that were the 60s. Val Kilmer and Meg Ryan in an Oliver Stone film, The Doors. Check this! The boys are back. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. <laughs> and from Neil Simon. You leave some pretty good teeth, Marcus. Oh. Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger in love and in lust in The Marrying Man. They're really, oh, really funny. Beautiful. Then Woody Allen and Bette Midler in the funny and fiery scenes from a mall. America's hot new sport, Combat Karate, the World Championships. See it on Showtime. If you like action that fast and that furious, check out the movie American Kickboxer 1. Surprise! Original movies. See them on Showtime. You are so bad. You are good. It's good to be bad. <laughs> Those arch villains from Rocky and Bullwinkle return as Sally Kellerman and Dave Thomas bring Boris and Natasha to life. Thank you very much. Take an intimate and exclusive look at the man behind the doors in JFK, Oliver Stone, Inside Out. Kennedy was killed in a coup d'etat, and he was killed by the forces in our government. And there's comedy. See it on Showtime. Bob Newhart returns to his stand-up roots in Off the Record. And family shows. See them on Showtime, too, like the premiere of Shelley Duvall's Bedtime Stories. Plus, new episodes of Rabbit Ears, We All Have Tales, and Owl TV. Showtime is the place to see it all. See it on Showtime. Get a kick from kickboxing? I don't know if kickboxing is quite our line. Find out April 18th just for kicks. What are you talking about? We kick off with a former champ trying to get his kick back. Oh, I like that. American Kickboxer 1. Kickboxing, I think, is the sport of the future. Next, an ultimate showdown bonanza. Join Steve Albert and Chuck Norris for all the excitement of combat karate, the world championships. Because I think he's back. And when a crazed killer is on the loose, Chuck Norris takes a kickstand to stop him in Hero and the Terror. We all have our priorities. If you love kickboxing and who doesn't, tune in April 18th just for kicks. Filled with fire, burning with shame. I kept telling myself over and over that I'd never go through with it. No way. A Showtime original movie, Red Shoe Diaries, coming in May. The following movie is brought to you by Showtime. Unedited and commercial free. Robert Altman, director of such great American movies as MASH and Nashville, returns to Hollywood for his latest, a mystery comedy thriller about Hollywood, The Player. Pick a story, any story. <clears throat> All right. Immigrants, protests, budget cuts, and literacy programs. 
Human spirit overcoming economic adversity. Sounds like Horatio Alger in the barrio. Put Jimmy Smits in it and you got a sexy stand to deliver. Next. In Robert Altman's The Player, Tim Robbins plays Griffin Mill, a high-profile studio exec with a small problem. An ambitious rival executive, Larry Levy, played by Peter Gallagher, seems to be after his job. We should make a deal now. Tomorrow may be too late. Can we get a hold of Levison? Yeah, I'll get Levison. Uh, when can you be back? I'll be there right after my AA meeting. Oh, Larry. I didn't realize you uh, had a drinking problem. Well... I don't really, but that's where all the deals are being made these days. Adding to his problems, he finds he's a suspect in a murder case. Now, you're acting like someone who's guilty. You're not guilty, are you? To play the homicide detective who investigates the murder, Altman chose an old friend, Academy Award winner Whoopi Goldberg. I've been trying to work with him over the last five or six years, and we always come very close and then end up not being able to get it together. So I, I went to Sam and said, could I, could I be in this movie, please? And here's the part I want. And so he gave it to me. But he'd get the wrong person arrested. Oh, please. This is Pasadena. We do not arrest the wrong person. That's L.A. To play June, hey. Griffin Mill's mysterious girlfriend, Altman called upon Greta doing? Skocky, the beautiful international star. But his interest in her wasn't just skin deep. I'm scrubbing her face and not, not combing her hair and... Uh, letting her dress very simply, and we're doing nothing to uh, get in the way of her own natural self, her own persona. I can't imagine any actor turning down a Robert Altman film. He expects his actors to be the characters, and uh, you know, he trusts that they will do that, which is nice, because they are good at their work, and very often they're not, they're not trusted. You know what you are, June, whatever your name is? You're a pragmatic anarchist. <laughs> Is that what I am? That's what you are. I never was sure. At the heart of the player is Robert Altman's own unique way of making movies. If I saw an actor doing everything I thought they were going to do or I felt that they should do or wanted them to do, it'd be a pretty single-minded film and I don't think it would be very good. If I'm not surprised by the performance, how can I expect the audience to be? And surprise, I think, is what it's all about. Speaking of surprises, to help the acclaimed director tell his tale, 65 major stars agreed to do something they've never done before on film. These people, most of them who are actors, are playing something they've never played before themselves. Burt Reynolds and Angelica Houston and Cher and people like that. In fact, I warn them that their behavior is, is their responsibility because they're playing themselves. God, that's a cut. Can we talk about something other than Hollywood for a change? Yes. We're educated yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things I can count on. Hmm. My morning paper? Uh huh. My favorite chinos you had. Susie's smile. Jake, definitely. And great movies on Showtime. Absolutely. Things I can count on in five years? Showtime brings you movies like Terminator 2, The Doors, The Marrying Man, and City Slickers exclusively. And that's something hey you can count on. Five years, 500 new movies. The Showtime 500. Okay, now, let's get this straight. Tom Berenger, a private eye, is hired to follow Ann Archer's boyfriend, but he ends up tracking the wrong guy who just happens to be leading a secret of double life that neither of his wives, Annette O'Toole, Kate Capshaw, is aware of. On top of that, Tom's old girlfriend, Ann Magnuson, has Elizabeth Perkins hot on his trail, only gets too hot and they fall for each other. But by this time, Ann Archer's got eyes for Berenger, too. Oh, did I mention the double life guy likes to kill people who try to blow his cover? Anyway, it gets much more convoluted, so you're just gonna have to watch a crazy little thing called Love at Large. Wednesday on Showtime. Only two icons of the 60s have survived the end of the Cold War. Holy smokeronis! Boris Badenov. It's good to be bad. <laughs> and Natasha Patel. The dreaded no goodnecks have defected to America. Does that make them defectives? Oh, I get it. But things are not what they seem. An assassin has been following you from the moment you got here. But who could be? They're resourceful, courageous, daring. Not. What not? And in a Lulu of a Vicks with Fearless Leader. As long as I'm here, nothing's going to happen. Those oldies butt baddies from Rocky and Bullwinkle are back in Deep Borscht. Sally Kellerman, Dave Thomas, Andrea Martin, Alex Rocco in the Showtime original movie, Boris and Natasha. 
premiering Friday on Showtime. Before the screening comics, the neurotic comics, the X-rated comics, there was Bob Newhart. Same to you, fella! The comedy innovator who rediscovered the telephone. He's between 18 and 19 stories high, depending on, on whether we have a 13th floor or not. Ask information. His stand-up routine set the standard for the rest of the pack. That I had to get half smashed every morning in order to make it down to this crummy job. Bob Newhart. Trust me, Abe, it's funny. Off the record. Friday on Showtime. What would happen if a thief stole your home? I'm on Dynasty! Your job! Your girlfriend! Want to join me? Your life! Are the Cubs winning the World Series? And loose women! Jim Belushi and Charles Grodin in the movie where one man's business... I slept with Walter's daughter? Yeah! Oh, how was I? ...is another man's pleasure. You were great! Taking care of business. Sunday on Showtime. Yeah.